Good, welcome to my channel. My name is Josh, some of my friends call me Sway of a Zero. In this video, we're pretty much gonna be talking about building your closet up on a budget. Uh, something that I'm doing as well, because everything that you see that I'm wearing right now is pretty much everything that's in my closet. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get to it. What you need to start is in your closet, and for multiple reasons, to see what you like and what you don't like from color, style, and brand. Also to see like things that's in your closet, if it can go with like multiple outfits or if it only could go with like one thing. Sometimes it don't even go with nothing because you have nothing to match it. Um, from there, you kind of see like, you know, your style and see what you like and what you don't like from uh, fit, whether you like a streetwear style, a casual style or a more relaxed style. Um, Cause there's been times where I've been in my closet and that process is very, very lengthy because you trying on clothes, making different outfits. Um, sometimes you even experiment with different things just to see like what you like. Um, you can even do this at a store too because I go in stores sometimes, you may see something that you like, you try it on, then when you try it on, you actually don't like it because you don't like how it fit or it's not even a part of your style. There's new trends coming out every single week. With trends coming out every single week, you're gonna be spending way more money than you need to. On top of, on top of spending way more money than you need to, you're looking like everybody else. So just like going to school on the very first day, everybody got the same pair of shoes. You don't wanna look like that. Sometimes trends come around that you may like and it's cool to follow them, but for to follow every trend, no, cause you're gonna just fall behind trying to keep up anyway. Then on top of that with fast fashion and following trends, a lot of times those clothes don't have no resale value. Not saying that everything that I have have some sort of resale value, but when I when I buy something, um, I'm able to sell it for what I bought it for or get close to um, what I got, uh, what I paid for it anyway. So just kind of keep that in mind. Have your foundation. Um, and your foundation is pretty much your essentials with clothes. I pretty much suck with this because when I go shopping or when I'm shopping online, I'm always just buying pieces. And then, like I said earlier, you might buy a piece and then you have nothing to wear with it. Then when you shop the next time you buying another piece, I have nothing to wear with that either. So you're gonna end up spending way more money just because you didn't have your essentials built up. Um, and you already know, pretty much everybody say this in every video, your essentials is pretty much your basics, like white, black, grays from beanie shirts um and then when it come to like jeans having like some nice solid jeans whether it's some black jeans some uh blue denim jeans wash jeans or it could have some casual type pants it could be like some like almost slack type pants um just anything like that that could come off like as casual and some plain shoes that can go with everything too um i could do a whole video on just pretty much essentials where to buy your essentials uh different brands from low to high um and also different uh websites to get your essentials from too so if you want to see something like that just drop it down below and i definitely could do a video like that building your closet up on a budget um, first you need to learn how to budget your money so i would say like out of every hundred percent that you get whatever you can afford whether that's 10 15 or 20 percent just put that to the side just for your shopping so when you go shopping you have a shopping budget and you're not just spending all the money that you have because that's something that i struggle with as well like it's something that i've saved in my grail cart and i'm like yeah well i got this 200 dollars this thing costs 190 I got to get it. You don't got to get it. You know, it takes time to like get a lot of pieces that you want. So just save your money to the side. Make sure you budgeting correctly because you don't want to be like fresh out here and you broke. You know what I mean? So make sure you know how to budget your money. And when you're shopping, like I said earlier, you're not just like kind of buying pieces and you have nothing to wear with those pieces because building your closet up is a whole process within itself. With finding your style, that is, that is also a process. Um, so like I said, with anything, you're not just gonna do it overnight, just like building your closet. So um, just find different inspiration. They have a lot of things on TikTok, Instagram. Uh, I recently just got on this and I know a lot of girls have been on it. Uh, Pinterest, you can search up anything on Pinterest or you can even go to things like, you know, Tumblr. Cause like a lot of people still be on Tumblr and posting like different, like, you know, fire things on Tumblr as well. You know, and when it comes to find, finding your style, bro, you don't want to look like exactly like somebody else. So just find different things you like from different people. And you also can just take a pinch here, take a pinch there and kind of just mash it together and make it your own. So even when it comes to like designer clothes, if you are into designer clothes, you still could shop on a budget with that as well. Um, Cause just like uh, I was saying where I shop at on Grail, they have like a lot of designer stuff on Grail and it goes to 
an uh, authentication um, process to make sure like what you buying is 100% real. Uh, they have the real real. They have this website which I can't pronounce, but I make sure I put it in the description. Uh, they have way like so many different websites that you can shop on to buy like real, authentic uh, designer clothes or designer accessories uh, for a discounted price. So make sure you keep that in mind as well. You don't have to just buy things like um, brand new. You could buy a lot of things secondhand to make sure it's like affordable for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't miss anything in the video. Um, more videos definitely coming soon. Make sure you drop a comment down below and subscribe to the page. Let's run these subscribers up and get to 1K. And I will see y'all guys in the next video. Peace.